just say? Gods of our land. Hey! Wonder shall never end though. Huh? Come, are you sure of what you're saying? Do I look like I came all the way from my town to joke around? Hey! Onye Kani will kill herself! Hey! And enough of the screaming! Do you want her to overhear us? No, 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 but wait. Oh. Why did he do this now? Why now? Hey! All of a sudden. Ne? This is strange. My dear. Very strange! My dear, as I speak to you now, my people are asking him the same question. Huh? No one knows the reason behind his action. Hey! Are you serious? Are you for a job? This is bad. God forbid bad thing. This is strange. Very strange. I don't understand. How will you understand when he's not even offering an explanation? Exactly. I've never experienced such story, except I witnessed it today. And he's not even saying anything. I think the right question here is, what is wrong with him? Exactly. I mean, for him to have waited till today to do this, something must have come over him. And whatever it is... <laughs> May God have mercy. He is refusing to say. Jennifer Yakok, what do we call this? What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? I woke up this morning dressed in my best regalia, left my house to this place for this show of show. Look at my hand. I have never seen this kind of nonsense before. What are that nonsense? Hey! I mean, how can Emiche take so, such a decision without offering uh, some sort of uh, explanation? Hey? Eh? Do you look like this to him? I have one other. Ichi, this is the height of insolence. Mabrunema. This is the height of insolence. His attitude is an affront on our personalities. He put his fingers in our eyes. Oh, my God, yeah. Ha! If my brother, his father, we are still alive. Yeah? You don't know how stupid for this? Oh, man, man. Hi. Hi. This is impudence of the highest order. Eh? Do you know how long we've been planning for this day? Eh? Hi. Hmm. The reason I am still sitting here is because his best friend, uh, uh, Obiago, said he will talk sense into him. Okay. Let's keep on waiting. I'm a I'm a boom. Let's keep on waiting. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are you insane? I mean, you should. Are you out of your mind? You think that this is a decision you can just wake up one morning and take? Who does that? Eguchi, Eguchi, please, please, and please, eh? eh? Just, just explain, explain yourself to us now. How can you do this? Eh, Eguchi? Just explain yourself, tell us what is going on. Now, do you want to go near? Hey, now, what is the problem? Hmm? Talk to us or oh, tell me what is the problem? You know, you can do this, you know it. Hmm? Ebuche. all the preparations and yet we are still waiting. Are we safe at all? Of course we're safe. Go back and tell the women to wait a little longer. The day has not ended yet. Okay. If I you say so. 
If you say so. I say so. Okay. Okunife, Okunife, calm down. You worry too much. You disturb yourself too much. See, see beside, if you worry like this, how will your sister feel? They will still be here. Something is not just right. I smell a rat. How far? Tell me how far is Omo Ezra from here? How far? Calm down. Today is not an ordinary day. They are not just coming here for a visit. They have to take their time and prepare. And moreover, the day is not over yet. So just exercise a little patience, my friend. Right. Yes. You will not understand. Both of you will not understand. asking me that stupid question. Huh? You are supposed to be marrying my sister, you bastard. And so? And so? So because you saw me with a young woman, eh? automatically you are assuming the worst. Huh? I don't even know who she is. Very stupid. <laughs> well, I guess that is her way of reminding you who she is. I don't care. Eh? I, don't, I don't care. I know you have always hated me. Okay, if I know you have always hated me. In fact, I know you have always hated the idea that your sister and I are being together. Eh? See, if you like, picture anything. If you like, think anything, anything, whatever you want to think, think it. Assume whatever you want to assume. I do not care. Okay, if I do not care. Eh? And I have my own peace. Because I want to get married to your sister, eh? You've been monitoring me like monetary spirit. What, 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 what is that? I'm the first one to get married. Is he trying to tell me that I didn't see what I saw? I must go there. If you don't tell me the problem you have with these earrings, I will start shouting for people to come and help me. Okay. You are losing it. Okay. Okay. I saw the man in your life walking out of the bush with the woman. That is my problem, the earring. What do you mean? What, what man are you talking about? Wait. Are you talking about my Ebuche? <sighs> How many other men do you have in your life? Apart from him. I don't understand all this. Can you explain to me? I'm lost. Good. I saw a bush coming out of the bush. With a young woman laughing. They were both laughing like idiots. Hmm. And then arranging their clothes. And then I approached him. Do you know that this fool denied it before my face? He denied it. So I decided to go into the bush and see what was happening. Or what had happened. And this is what I found. 
Hey, wait, wait. Wait. So what you're trying to tell me is that you did not even catch them in the act. Not again. You only saw the earrings and then concluded on your own. As who? The most annoying part is that this lady slapped Igbuchi in front of me. She slapped him for trying to deny her. Which lady are you talking about? Wait, is it a tall black girl? Boom. Exactly. Hey! Ebuji has always told me about how that young lady has been pushing him to get married to her. But he told her that he's practically married. But she wouldn't just listen. She's been pushing. And now, you saw them together. And this miserable earrings. And you jumped into conclusion that they were having something to do with each other. How stupid can you be? It is not like You that. have to stop. For some reasons, only the gods can explain. You have always hated Ebuche for the very first time he set his foot into this compound. You never liked him. But I'll tell you, my brother, I love that man. I love him so much. And whether you like it or not, I am going to get married to him. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, you can. Listen, Ebuche is not being sincere with you. Abia. Look at Uchen now. A noble man from Nnewi. A merchant like me. <laughs> Why don't you give him a chance? Mm. Why don't you marry him? Yes! No one can be called Abolalo. No, 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 If all does not go well today, I will kill someone. Hmm? Yes, I will kill a butcher. And it's not just a mere threat. You have to calm down. It's not just a threat. So, what are you people going to do now? Are you asking us what we are going to do? Uh -huh. Hey, what exactly are we supposed to do? Hmm? Tell us now. Tell her the truth, of course. Hey. Seriously. Uh -huh. So you want us to go and tell our friend what happened, Abby? Tell her the truth, of course. Hey. No, 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 wait. Oh. Hmm. Ah, now, hey. let me ask you. Hmm. Madam, hey. if you are in Onyekane's shoes right now, how would you expect us to bring this kind of news to you? Hey, answer. answer me. No, 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 don't look answer away. Answer. Answer. <laughs> Ah, great one. of the separate ground. A great one, I... I said, get out, you unclean woman. Great one, I, I don't understand what... You, I don't know what you're talking about. How dare you? How dare you enter into the sacred abode of the great Anukeni of Umeza now with the fluid of a man in you? That is not true, great one. I am still a virgin. I haven't slept with any man before. Do I look stupid to you? No. Now, leave. The great one. I say, go. The great one, please. Do you know why they fear me in Umuizanam and beyond? No, I don't. It is because I hate repeating myself. Look, woman. When I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. 
when I repeat myself, terrible things happen. And I know you will not want that. Now, leave my compound, you unclean woman. And do not return until you get rid of your fealty. I mean every word I have said. Now leave. Okay, great one. I will tell you the truth. I will confess. Yes, I slept with a man. He was my first. I fell in love with him the very first time I set my eyes on him. I believed him. Until I met him, I have not been with any man. It doesn't that count. Great one. The mere fact that I gave my body to him because of the love that we have for each other. Does that not count? I can't be tagged as an unclean woman just because I gave my body to the man that I love. Please, great one. Are you married to him? I know. Then, you are unclean. Now leave my compound until you get yourself rid of that field. Go! And do not come back to me. I cannot continue to stay here making a fool of myself. Whatever reason you have for putting your marriage plan this very morning, when we are supposed to go and marry a wife for you, she will be remain with you. Since you are not willing to tell us anything, I am out of here. Hey! What? I don't think there is any need for me to still remain here. Rubbish! See how wonderfully you're looking on this cap. Hmm? Let's keep on hoping. I believe there is nothing the gods cannot do. That's my belief in whatever I do. Is that not to be? That's him. He seems to believe it. Hey, 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 hey. Come, 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 come. Bosif, what is going on? He's not ready to talk. So there's no need for me to continue wasting my time. Uh -uh. What is happening? Well, in that case, there is no need for us to be here. Our husbands are leaving. I think we should join them. Same here. I mean, what else are we here for? The child we are here to nurture is dead. Hmm. Exactly. going on? Eh? Are my husband's people here? How come I haven't been called? And why does it seem as if you're hiding something from me? Wait, that, that young woman from Umizora, what has she come to say? Please, I am bothered. Can you start talking to me, please? I, I, I don't even know what to say. No, don't give me that, for you definitely have something to say. Ma, stop talking now. Chukwo, Kike. Onyekani, are you panicking because you saw speaking with that young woman from Umu Eziora? Eh? That young woman is my cousin. Ma. Ma, do you have a relative in Umu Eziora? Yes, now. My mother's sister is married there. And the young woman from Umu Eziora happens to be her daughter. Her parents were going for a burial. So they, they, they didn't want to take her along. They told her to stay with us until they returned from the trip. And how come I haven't met her? Hey! So you now know my family members, up, yeah? Right. But that does not explain why she was whispering. Why? Onyekani, do you ever let things go? But help me now. Eh? Take it easy with me. Today is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. I'm supposed to be getting married today. 
Things are not moving the way it's supposed to be. What do you expect? Okay, 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 okay. Fine, fine, fine. It's enough. Since you want to know, the young man was telling us that she likes a man from this village. Why do I find it very difficult to believe you? Yes, I don't believe you. But you can mean you panic a lot. It's not like the young man from whom Sora was telling us that your husband has cancelled the marriage. It's so oh. Ma what? what did you just say now? Eh? <laughs> look at this, look at her face. You need to see yourself right around now. I was only joking. Hey, Kojido Bigaka. Ma, listen, I'm not fine. I, I'm not fine at all. I'm having this strong feeling that something is wrong. Everything is not all right. Don't tell me that. Mm, Nikane, what you're experiencing is anxiety. And that is because you're getting married today. Hi. Yes, the reason I'm here. To make you take your mind off things. Mm. You've done well. <clears throat> about you and your lover <laughs> have you people tested the waters tested the waters what do you mean have you people have you people gone down gone down where can you have you people jumped the bones bones which bones yeah. okay fine have you people danced the mystery dance? Hey, hey. What are you talking? What dance? What mystery dance are you talking about? Have you people done the you know, you know, you know, you know? <laughs> you're so, you're naughty. <laughs> what are you saying? It's not the love of my life. Give me that. <laughs> Mm, that's good though. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming and let me go and know what is happening there. Hmm? I'll be back. Thank you, you too. Hey! Please, I'm waiting. Oh! If neither of you are going to tell her the truth, who will? Because it's not going to be me. <laughs> See, nobody is telling anybody nothing. Nothing at all. At least not now, now. Not now, please. Eventually, you would have to tell her, you know? Um, maybe. We are not saying that you're wrong. Hmm? The fact... Mm. Girls, are you sure she's not been listening to us? What? 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 Yes, what? now. And the fact that we've been talking to a lady from Umezora makes it worse. Yeah. And that's my cue. It's time for me to go back to my village. My mission here is complete. Please, don't go yet, please. Please, we just need to find a way to tell Anna. You can't leave us now, please. You can't leave us. Is it still part of my business? Mm -hmm. eh? Look, I did you a favor by bringing the news to you. Now it is left for you as her friends to find a way and break the news to her. I have to go. My mother will still start looking for me. Make a no, make a no, my boy. I hate the upa. Make a no, make a no, my boy. Greetings, Sebuche. Greetings. Greetings, Sebuche. Greetings. Am I forgetting something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kani. Have you forgotten today's Ekelmo Zora? Ring a bell. Goodness me. I totally forgot. Forgive me. Uh, my friends and I are supposed to be going to Ekelmo Zora today. 
I'm so sorry. Let me go and get prepared. Sorry. It's okay. Go and get prepared. Eh? Mm -hmm. No need to apologize. Man, no yeah. problem. Okay. Uh, love one thing to. Yes, um, sit down. Thank you. <laughs> she told us you proposed. Yes, I did. Good. I'm happy for both of you. Oh, thank you very much. So, when are you coming with your people? I mean, for the introduction. What are you looking at? You are so beautiful. What? Please pardon me. Were you just... Look, I, I said I'm sorry. I just couldn't help myself. I'm, I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? Ma, I know I shouldn't be saying this, okay? I actually like you. I like you very much. From the very first day I, I, I set my eyes on you, though I was with Onyika Ne on that day, I just couldn't get you off my mind. I have tried. I, I, I have not been able to get you off my mind. Is this a joke? You were staring at him all my lustfully. Me? That's a lie. I did no such thing. What? I know there is nothing I will say that you will believe. But the truth is, Every day I step my feet on Umuriam. I do so hoping that, you know, that I, 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 I can see you. I can see you and, and possibly tell you this. Are you insane? Ma, Ma, I am sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I know this is not the best time or place. But I am tired. I am tired of pretending. Can I ask you a question? Ma, yes. Anything. Any question you want to ask me, just go ahead and ask. I will answer. If Oye Kane wasn't in the picture, mm -hmm. he would be with me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Are you trying to say that you are prepared to leave her for me? Yes, that's exactly what I am saying. That's exactly what I have been saying. Wait a minute, Madiche. Is this why you called me out? Or you can you please listen to me? Listen to what? What exactly are you saying? I mean, why are you saying it now? I thought you were all for Ebuche. Why the sudden change of mind? I have pondered over this for days before I made up my mind to tell you about it. You have to listen to me. You have to understand. Unfortunately, you are not making any sense to me. You are not. Okay, fine. Let me make it clear to you. My spirit is against him. Onyekane is not genuine. Madiche. Madiche, what is wrong with you? First, it was my brother. And now, you? You of all people? Oh, Onyekane, please, please. Like I said earlier, you have to listen to what I'm saying. You know? I am your friend and I cannot deceive you. Ebuche is not good for you. The highest Ebuche will do to you is to sleep with you and move on. He doesn't love you, at least not to last for a lifetime. Please don't tell me that. Don't tell me. What is all this? Ebuche is a playboy. He 
is an unrepentant Casanova. He is not good for any woman. Please. You don't have right to tell me who is good for me or who is not. I am going to pretend that this never happened and walk out of this place because of our friendship. Let it not ever happen again. Please. Can you, can you, you have to listen to me. I, fine, you have to listen to me. Enoche is not good for you. I am talking to you as a friend. Oh. Madichi. Mm. Ma. Did you hear us calling you since? Where did you go to? Go. Hmm. I've been thinking. Thinking about what? The fact that I have been proven right once again. I told Onyekani that Ebuchi doesn't love her at all. I told her that Ebuchi will hurt her. But she didn't listen. I kept drumming it into her ears. Oh, girlfriend, this is not the time to abortion blames now. The thing has already been done. Let's just find a way and settle these things now. See, um, Ma. What you're saying might be right. Don't quote me wrong. But Nne, your timing is totally wrong. See, tell her if this is how you choose to present this news to her, I will suggest you keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. That's Don't say anything. Please, oh. But I told her. I told her. Ebuche, please tell me. Why are you doing this? Why did you have to cancel your marriage with Onye Kanne right on your marriage day? Why? I blame myself. I blame myself for the whole mess. But in truth, I did not plan it. I did not plan it. Just yesterday, I was with her. I bought her a set of beads because I wanted her to wear it today on our marriage day. I took it to her myself. Then, what, what, what happened? Where did it all go wrong? Oh, on my way back, I, I met someone. Hello, beautiful. Greetings. Greetings. If I may ask, where is a beautiful damsel headed by this time of the day? Thank the cause I met you. Actually, I am heading to Obubankwa. But it seems I missed my way. Wait. I think I misheard you. You're headed to Obubankwa. By this time of the day. Um. Yes. Why? Excuse me? Well, well I'm, I'm sorry. But if I may ask, if you don't mind me asking, I, 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 I sincerely do not mean to pry. But why is it? I mean, what caused a beautiful damsel like you to be heading to Obubakwa? By this time of the day, so I might be a stranger to you, okay? But if you confide in me, I may just be of help to you. Like you rightfully said, that thank the gods that you met me. I don't understand. You've not heard. You don't know. Heard what? Know what? Okay, now let me ask you. What do you know about this place, Obobankwa? According to what I was told, it is just a place where I can lay my head for the night and continue with my journey tomorrow morning. Look, I don't even know you. And I don't know why you're asking me those strange questions about him. I am coming all the way from Akei to Umuizenam in search of a man who will solve my family's problems. Not oh. to answer your questions, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, I didn't leave Aki on time. Hence my arrival to Umuriam late. I was referred to go to Umuankwa because I can get a place of 2,000 naira where I can just lay my head and continue with my journey tomorrow morning. That's why I'm going there. 
that animal that referred you to Ogbabonkwa, did that animal tell you what happened there? Did he tell you exactly why that place exists? Did he tell you what to expect when you get there? Did he? No. Okay, now let me tell you. It's a beautiful girl. That place is not a wonderful place. It is not a wonderful place for a beautiful damsel like you to be seen. It is not. What in God's name are you trying to say? Wait. I am beginning to think that there is more to this place. In what you're right. Now, let me do a little summary of what that place of Ubangwa is all about. Please do. I'm, I'm all ears. All right. You see, in this whole town, in this whole town, if you are a husband and you come back home at night and you have a promiscuous wife and you don't find that woman at home, there's only one place you will find that woman. Obanka? Good. Now you're with me. And if you are a wife, you have a promiscuous husband, and at night, you find out that, that your husband is not on your matrimonial bed. That's only one place you will find that husband. Good, exactly. Now, you, you're a parent, okay? You're a parent. You have an unemployed daughter that spends, that lavishes money. And I mean, she cannot provide or, you know, tell you the means she makes that money. That's only one place that money is being made. Let me guess. Same Obubakwa? You see, initially we all thought that prostitution was, was meant for, for ladies, you know, selling their bodies. Until Obubankwa came to existence and proved us all wrong. So even men, men from this village and nearby communities, go to that place to prostitute to. So dummy, which we thought was meant for the cities, now happens here in our local villages. I never knew such places existed here. Yes. It, it, you see, we were told that Obefi Ilorika brought this, you know, imported girls from Otorobo and brought them. They stay here and do what they call Akonakona, I mean prostitution. Wait, Otorobo? Yes. That sounds like a village far away. Far, far in the north. It was believed that that was where he learned the business from. I, I don't have anywhere to go to. That, that means I'm, I'm stranded. You see, a, a, a beautiful young damsel from Aki should not be seen in a place like that. Okay? Instead, I, I, I have a spare room. I have a spare room in my house where you can spend the night and first thing in the morning, you can continue your journey peacefully. You, you, you will? You will? Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. May the gods reward you. You say, you say. Thank you for the food. You know, any man who can offer food and drink to a woman who he just met for the very first time is the perfect definition of a gentleman. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy with your company. I lost my both parents long ago. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's been a long time now. So you've been staying alone? Um, actually, I was living here with my uncle until he built his own house. And ever since he has been drumming it in my ears that a man cannot be you know, in a house alone. I hope you understand what I mean. Of course. 
it means he's, he's expecting you to get married. Exactly. So, um, have you found out? Who? Come off it. For your uncle to say that, I am sure you know what he means. He simply wants you to get married. Or better still, I am sure you're seeing someone by now. So, where is she? What if I said... What if I said the person is sitting right here with me? What? You're extremely beautiful. The moons and the stars don't glow like your eyes. Akachua, you're extremely beautiful. Um, Ebuchi, you really need By the gods, you are captivating. Well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying this now. Probably you should be resting. Okay? Yes. Right. Um, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. By the gods, I have never seen a woman like you. Me too. I have never seen a man like you. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead, my love. When I asked you if you found a woman to marry. You said that... Yes, I know what I said. And I am now convinced that I was right then. This is quite unlike me. Because I feel the same way. Really? What do you mean by really? 
Why do you think I gave myself to you? Or are you thinking I was sent by a boy Lirica to make you feel good? No, not at all. Not at all, my love. Even if nothing had happened, I won't think such of you, my love. I won't. Well, good. Because I... I have never done anything like this before. I know, Amalajam. I know you have never... I can join. My love. She left for Umwezianam this morning. But then, though she is gone, it's like a part of her is with me. Since morning, I have been reflecting. Reflecting on the incredible, wonderful time we, we had last night. Yes, I, I, I just can't shake it off my system. I can't. She handled me. She handled me like no woman has ever handled me or will ever handle me. Obiago, I love this woman. I have to marry her. Ebuche, you've been extremely ridiculous. Let me, let me ask you something. What makes you think that this woman in question will want to be your wife? What makes you think that? Okay, let me tell you something. A woman who decided to spend the night in Ilurika's place is also an Akurakuna. Yes, a woman who could open herself for you on the first date. A woman who handled you. A woman who handled you the way you described. Without holding back. That woman is useless. Very useless. A useless woman from Aki. Who is sleeping around with whole men experience, get, gathering different kind of experiences. Don't even think of it. Don't even try it. Hello, Biago. I'm sorry. You better be. She's not that kind of girl. She was merely searching for Bumakwa. Looking for where to spend the night. And talking about she not wanting to marry me. Akantua already said it that she had decided to be my wife. Only if I agree. And that's it. And I love this woman. I want to make her my wife. Wait. What? Yes. See, see, I, 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 I know, but you see, I, I, I truly love this woman, and you're my friend, my best friend. That's why I'm telling you all this. I, I, I want you to help me because I cannot do this alone. I can't. You mean to say that you actually cancelled your marriage with that amazing woman that we know for a strange woman that you don't even know? You are twisting it. You don't need to twist this whole thing. You see, I, I, I know her. I know her. Mm -hmm. I know her. And despite anything, I'll be a good my friend. Huh? I want you to come with me to Aki. I, 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 I want to go and look for Akantua and ask her hand in marriage. Please, I want you to be the man from this village that will go with me. Please. The woman you want to marry is in her father's house, waiting for you to come and pay her bride price. Are you going to seek for another woman's hand in marriage? Hey, God forbid if I should be part of that abomination. Ah, God, please don't do this. Hey, don't do this. If any man in this land, if any man with his right senses should take you to that trip, that disgusting trip, that man is not going to be Obiago. I wouldn't be that man. Do you understand? Do you know the kind of woman you want to marry? Do you know the kind of woman Oyekane is? Do you know? Do you know the... Okay, 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 wait. Let me now blow your mind. Do you know the caliber of men standing online waiting for you to mess up so they will pick 
No, you can't. So they will grab her immediately. And you're here messing up, you're here wasting time. Yeah? Your marriage with her would, would have been long sealed and signed. You see, when you're here wasting your time, you should count yourself lucky that she finally chose to marry you. Now get out. Are you talking to me? Upiago. I said leave my house. Are you insane? What is wrong with you? Upiago, leave my house before I will do something I will leave to regret. Do you know what they say? People don't value what they have until they lose it. And another saying, people always like to eat sweet thing. And is that the same sweet thing? that kills the body just go ponder on these words thank you just go go hey me Konamaka, just allow me to leave don't touch me go idiot you people went, went to prepare a, a, a shabby for me who told you who sent you people are you the ones going to get married blue and white the worst colors. Think as if it's your, you, 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 you're the one that is going to marry her. My own marriage to you, choose color for me. My daughter. I see fears in your eyes. You are afraid that that same thing that has been happening to your family members will happen to you. Every member of your family has had their share in the dilemma. And you are afraid you are next. Yes, you are right, Ichi. I do not want to die. That is why I am here. You are a Chie Omachiani, the great man of Aki. Something in me tells me that you have the solution. You can help me with this particular problem. I can imagine a young woman as beautiful as you are suddenly running mad. Though, you are not drunk, but you are nest. If nothing is done, it will happen. Ichi, please, what do I do? <clears throat> your, your father killed a man from Umezanam. What? Oh, yes. How? When? The widow of that man reported the case to Odumi Wele, the deity of Anam people, before she finally died. This is very serious. Yes. Serious indeed. You see, people may joke with anything they see, but they should not joke with deities. And if you want to survive this horror that is coming your way, you have to travel. You travel to Umezanam. When you reach there, ask of Anukeni. He is the only one that can solve your problem. The faster you go there, the better for you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, who are you? My name is Anadwaka. I was coming to give Anukeni a message and I overheard your discussion with him. If 
he does not want to help you. I know someone that can. What? Yes. See, someone that can give you a solution to your problem. See, this person much better than I'm okay. You have to travel. You travel to Umezanam. When you reach there, ask of Anukeni. He is the only one that can solve your problem. The faster you go there, the better for you. Thank you very much. But I do not need your help. See, are you listening to me at all? I see. The person will give you a solution to your problem. Yes, I am listening to you and I can hear you. But I do not need your help. And please, if you do not mind, I have a lot on my mind right now. You see, someone that can help you out. Tumba, 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 tumba. Can this define young woman? She thinks Anu Kenji can help her. Nobody knows friend of mine. He just stepped out. When? Where? Um, his uncle sent for him. But it's not been long he left. I'm sure he will soon come back. But why don't you stay back for lunch? I'm making something very nice. You'll like it. Uh, if you insist, who am I to say no? I insist. My You'll mother. like it. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Uh, you're welcome. What? Um, a prince must not leave the house without his regalia. Uh, uh, no, my prince. He's just that. You've I... not seen one do it before. Oh, come on. My prince, where are your guards? Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, look, truth is, I did not want anyone in the house to know where I was going. So I sneaked out of the house. I didn't even want any villager to notice me. Hence, my dressing up like this. <laughs> but most importantly, I wanted to see you. Who? Oh, me? Um, actually, I initially wanted to go to your house. But a good friend of mine told me you were here. Oh. So I came. Uh, okay, uh, you're welcome. Um, can uh, you come and sit? Let me help you with the food on fire. All right. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Um, 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 my prince, I hope all is well. Yes, my dear. I just, um, I brought you a little something. I was with my grandmother yesterday when she took delivery of them. And you were the only one that came to my mind, so I was sort of telling her about you. So about me? Yes, my dear. You see, I, I know this is not the right place or the right time either, but I really need to take my chances again. You see, I care so much about you, and I know you've made it clear to me that you don't want to be with me. But you were the only person that came to my mind as soon as I saw these beats. <sighs> you see, I... I know you too well to know that you are a priceless jewel. A rare gem. You can't be replaced. I am ready to marry you here and now if you could say yes to me. <laughs> no, my prince. I mean, you're quite welcome. But I'm sorry. My heart yearns for someone else. It belongs to another. And has he proposed to you? Well, 
Not yet, but he, I... He doesn't know what he has. I'll be on my way now. I don't want to be missed at home. I really wish you'd have everything. Wait, my prince, wait. My prince, you were a good man. And I don't mean to reject your gift. And I equally don't mean to make you feel that I'm toying with you. Please, you, you, you have to take this alongside with you. The gods will give you a woman who truly deserves you. Please. You can give her this gift. I don't need it. Thank you. I hope he realizes what he has before it's too late. What else? He has come to do what every other young man except Ebuche has refused to do. He, he came to ask for my hand in marriage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me something, Oviago. Is your friend Ebuche ever going to make me his wife? Um. Onyegane, Ebuche might be my very best friend, and you've also been very dear to me. But I am going to tell you this, and who I'm talking about is somebody I know very well, Ebuche. Eh? You are a very good woman, and you deserve the best. And the question is this, do you take Ebuche as your best? If you do, then why don't you let him know your mind? I took his advice. And I did just that. Marriage, marriage, marriage. What is it with women and marriage? Huh? Okay. I will eventually marry you. Is that okay by you? What did you just say? Eventually. Okay. I'll, I'll marry you. Mm. <coughs> Stop. 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 Just pray I don't change my mind. Just pray. Look at you. What did you just say? Come on, I was only kidding. No, this joke is expensive. I'm just joking. It's okay. Mm. It's okay, huh? Everything somebody will beg you first. Oh, you have to beg me. When I play with my heart for the song I sing, it came from my heart. Oh, Onyekane, please, please. Like I said earlier, you have to listen to what I'm saying. I am your friend and I cannot deceive you. Ebuche is not good for you. The highest Ebuche will do to you is to sleep with you and move on. He doesn't love you. Please. At least not to last for a lifetime. I'm dancing in the rain in pain. Do you feel my heart dancing in the rain in pain? I am dancing in the rain in pain. Do you feel my heart dancing in the rain in pain? in the front of the elders and told them that I cannot be with the love of my life. You made them understand that the man, the only man your sister has ever loved is not suitable for her. What have I ever done to you, Ekunife? 
What? Are you gonna please? Please what? You're so selfish. You are self-centered. What is wrong with you? Okay, you don't like him. You have so many reservations about him. But I've chosen him for myself. Despite his shortcomings, his mistakes and faults, I have chosen him. And guess what? He chose me too. What is wrong with you? Do you think I don't have blemishes? Eh? Please, you have to listen to me. No, you listen to me. It is either you suck it up or you let us be. Oh yes, if that is what you want, I'm going to remain here in my father's house and become your wife. I'm just coming from Ichi Otondo's house. I have given him my consent to the marriage. What? Yes. Listen, you are my only sister. And I love you very much. And if you say Egbuche, is your happiness. Who am I? <laughs> I will not stand against it. <laughs> Something terrible must have gone wrong in Umoizera. And we are going to find out what it is. If only fair, I suggest we send delegates. They send delegates. You are right. Exactly, that is what I am thinking too. Who done a second? Is he not from Umeziora? Um, oh, we need to talk, please. What is going on? In private. Um, greetings, everyone. You're welcome. Please, in private, please. We need to talk. Did you see that? I, I, I saw his face. I suspected something. Did you see the reaction on his face? What could be the problem? How would I have known? <sighs> something is wrong. I think so, but we'll find out eventually. We'll find out. So? Then you start talking now. Ebuche is not coming. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't get... Uh, can you just... Rephrase that thing you just said now. Ebuche is not coming for any marriage ceremony. He has cancelled marriage with your sister. He's not coming. He's not marrying your sister anymore. Well, uh, I... I see. Then, thank you very much for granting us the courtesy of coming to inform us yourself. Thank you, but you know I was never in support of his action. You, you know that. I, I know. I think you can start leaving now. But please, you have to go to the back. Okay? I don't want you to get noticed while you are leaving. People might start having some different impressions. I want to unveil the news to them myself. It's okay. Understood. One more thing. Tell Ebuche that no matter where he runs to, no matter where he goes, he cannot hide from me. I will find him and I will kill him for this.
you're getting married tomorrow. You're not supposed to be here. Well, let's just say I couldn't wait for that long. Aww, <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank and you. And you know how to say sweetest of things to me. <laughs> it's okay. And I... I... I got it, yes. Aww. And I want you to wear them tomorrow. Of course I will wear them. It's so beautiful. Very beautiful. I'll wear them for you tomorrow. Thank okay. you so much, darling. <laughs> Thank you so much, my love. You're welcome, my wife. Your wife? Yes, my wife. You don't know how sweet that sounds, my <laughs> husband. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> oh. oh I'm so I'm super delighted. <laughs> Thank you so much. You don't know I'm how happy I... you love it. Hi. Brother of mine. When did you come back? Let's say so long enough that I saw it all. Mm. <laughs> my man. Oh, my merchant in law. <laughs> I can see you brought my sister a gift. Yes. My wife, you mean? No, not yet. Till tomorrow. Um, she will be my wife by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I know we all agree to make this marriage a low key one. But I think I've got something off my sleeve. So, I'll say this. Invite all your friends. Huh? Make sure all your friends are present because I am going to kill a fat ram for you. Oh, <laughs> my brother, you are the best in the whole world. Of course I know. Thank you. I trust you. <laughs> I am really grateful. If you hurt my sister, I will kill you. She's a safe hands. Don't trust me. I, I truly love her. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bye. Yes. I love anticipate tomorrow then. <laughs> it's okay. Tomorrow. Thank you. All right. this village are you no i'm not are you all right no i'm i'm not oh, all right sorry sorry it's all right i still can't explain why i opened myself so fast to a man that i was just seeing for the first time life is a misery if only we can explain why we do Things we do most of the time. I've been asking myself several questions, lots of them. Anyways, then the gossip met me because I, I happen to know the solution to your problem. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, how, how do you mean? Ever used alligator pepper on yourself before? No. Why would I do that? It is the only thing that can cleanse up this immolarity from your body. <laughs> An Anu King will see me? Exactly. Come. Come, let me show you. Stand up. Let's go, come.
So can I help you? You did the right thing. Excuse me? Ditching Unyekani is the best decision you have ever made. Whoa! You mean you're the only one that has said that to me the whole of today? And I'm so excited! You see, a credible man of Umwezira, like you, shouldn't be going to other villages in search of a wife. Not when you have women like me here. I think there's a misunderstanding here. I did not ditch Oyinkane, as you said, uh, because I want to get married to a woman from here. No. I ditched Oyinkane because I found a woman I want to get married to. And I am sorry to inform you that that woman is not from here. She's from Aki. What? You, you didn't just say that. I did. I said so. And I'm sure you heard me right. You see, she, 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 she was here last night. She spent the night here. And you know what? She handled me. She handled me like no woman has ever handled me. And no woman can ever handle me. That is how she handled me. And you see that woman? I am going to look for her and I'm going to make her my wife. That was the reason I cancelled that marriage. Are you for real? Or it's something you made up to scare me away? I swear by the gods of this land, I am telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. And I think you have overstayed your welcome here. You lascivious and deplorable bastard! You will die a shameful death! That's how you people go around scattering people's life. You won't get me on that. Are you sure you don't want me to stay back? It's okay. No. You don't have to. I need to tell her myself. Really? It's okay anyway. If you say so. But in case you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Of course I do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You have to take good care of her. I will. All right. See you. Thank you. What's going on? What is it? Please, you, you need to sit. Really. Is there a problem? Why is everyone leaving? Just take a seat. You don't tell me to sit. You tell me what is happening. What is wrong? Eh? Wait. <laughs> is he not coming? Eh? He's not coming. Um, please, you just calm down, okay? Don't get yourself worked up. Calm down. <sighs> Life is hard. But we do our best to leave it. Sometimes it gets really tough. So tough that one would think that she is not tough enough to keep going through it. But that is the time that we should remind ourselves that the only valuable solution is getting through it. Tough times never last. But tough people do. My life does not revolve around Ebuche. I will take whatever it is that has happened today to be my faith and I'm ready to move on. Go 
Which one? How dare you? How dare you? Now tell me. Tell me! Who is that man in Umwesa Nam that is much better than me in providing solutions to problems? Uh, 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 great ones, I... Listen. I, it is only a fool that put his tongue in a burning fire. It is only a fool that falls into destruction with his hands. That young woman, that young woman, you do not know what brought her into this land. Stay clear from her. Had this man finally become a spirit? How did he get to know about a private discussion I had with a young woman along the road? How? Hi. Gemma, what are you doing? Miss me. Excuse me. Considering the fact that you chose to marry her instead of me, you should have given me a heads up when you decided to leave her. Or better still, call me. I didn't call you. At least to tell you that I didn't want you back. So why not just leave? Sorry. I don't get it. Ijema, what we shared was mostly in secret. In fact, in the bush. So permit me to say what we shared in the bush. And then in the bush. Are you just saying all this to make me feel bad? Maybe you're bad. You're already bad. So please, why not just get out of my house? What? Okay, now, listen. Maybe... I've not made it clear to you, but let me break it down for you, okay? It is over. It is over between us, all right? I said this bushel thing, it's over, all right? It's over between us. You don't know me, I don't know you. You shameless and abominable son of a cursed family. I, Ijima, who bent my life in making yours miserable. Trust me. Oh. All because I don't want you back. I have become abominable. Right? Good. Stand here and invent more names to call me. Invent them. But you know what is not going to change the fact that I have taken you and, and the bush. We did it in the bush. So. You're already counted amongst the taken, and nothing is going to change that. <laughs> Considering the fact that uh, Ekunife did announce his uh, humanizing attitude from the beginning, uh, we should still have expected exactly this from him. Uh, but Ekunife later consented to the marriage. Yes. But having given it a thought, I think he did that just to impress his, his sister who was bent on marrying that bastard. Bastard indeed. Can you imagine the amount of food we wasted today? You're talking about food. What about drinks? Let us not talk about, uh, about uh, uh, money. Kai. Hey. Hey, well, do you know by this time tomorrow, our family will be famous in this time for a place that such a thing happened in. Hey, everybody will be talking about us. And my niece, Onyekane, will become an object of discussion. Kai. Hey. Shut up, boy. See that boy? He needs to be taught a lesson. Exactly. He needs to be taught a lesson so that he will feel our pains. Ah! Please, pack in the place. Let's, let's, <sighs> let's go my, to bed. That's my husband. Hey. Hey. Ma, 
I I think Where is this? Honestly, I do not like your mood this morning. What do you mean? And what do you know about moods? I'm almost done with breakfast. Why don't you sit behind and eat? Well, uh, I'll eat when I get back. I'm fine. Am I forgetting something? Anyway, here I have um roasted plantain and umbaka, specially prepared for you by my mom. Oh, hmm? yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And here I have uba and umbaka sent for my mom. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have here with me a bachancha sent over by my mom. Oh, Madiche. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this gesture. Thank you. I hope there's no problem. Only can me. Something terrible happened to you yesterday. My dear, it's okay to grieve. No, huh? I'm fine. Listen, my wonderful friends, trust me. I am very fine. Ebuchi has made his choice. But I have moved on. I am not going to kill myself. Yes. <laughs> Nevertheless, that will not stop me from enjoying this awesome daily cases you brought me this morning. Thank you so much. Um, I will set the table. You will eat with me, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thank you. Ma, are you sure she's okay? I don't even understand her again. Yeah. I guess, I guess, he needs some more. This bastard! Hey, stop, it. Stop, it. stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What's the problem? Stop! I know you're doing this for your sister. But if you kill him, your sister is going to be angry with you. Do you understand? Stop it! There is something they call karma. There is something they call faith. There is something they call personality. They are going to judge us all! He killed my sister the moment he hurt her. Yes, boy! I am! Stop it! Stop it! You learned Stop it! Stop it! What's wrong with you? What's your problem? future never appear before me with the fluid of a man in you. I mean a man that is not your husband. Okay, great one. And I am sorry for even daring. It won't happen again. Sit. It will take time. Madness runs in your family. I am a messenger of the gods. The moment you step your feet into this compound, I knew what you want. 
Yes, you were right, great one. Madness runs in my family. Good. Your father died from madness when he was possessed by a strange spirit. He set himself ablaze. Your mother also died of madness. She saw water, pool of water beneath Nebwa, the hill of Aki. Yes, you were right, great one. She told people that she saw a pool of water. But they were laughing at her. People told her that there was no water. But she insisted. She took off and admitted to dive into the pool. But ended up crashing herself to death. For there was no pool of water. Your brothers all died in mysterious circumstances. And that is when you started asking questions. In search of solutions. That is why you are here. Yes, great one. I am sure you know your father killed a man of this land. The widow reported him to the deity of this land. Will you have to appease? Yes, I do. Good. There's a little problem. The only way you can appear before Dumiwele, the deity of this land, is to come with a man. Are you serious, great one? You mean I cannot solve this problem alone? Yes. You have to come with a man. Either your husband, your fiancé, or one of your relations. Not a friend. A woman cannot stand before Dumiwele and talk. Hey, you have to do that urgently. There is no time. And when I say there is no time, I mean there is no time left. But great one, I am not married. And besides, Udumi really has succeeded in wiping away all the male members in my family. There is a solution. There is another way out. Tell me about it. You have to be Ulu Alose, the wife of the deity. What? If you accept to be the wife of Odumi Wele, he will not kill you because he will not kill his wife. My dear, I feel so bad for Nikane. <laughs> My dear, I can imagine how she feels. Same here. I mean, of all the days for a man to leave you, why on the day of one's marriage? I've never seen wickedness so defined. I wonder what she will be doing right now. Funny enough, I heard she came to the community boho this morning to fetch water. And people also said she was smiling and greeting everybody. Thank you for coming yesterday. Really? Wow. I'm a fan of her fortitude if she's taking it so well. <laughs> or she could be hiding her sorrows and frustration. Whichever way, I understand how it feels to be rejected by the one you love. Oh. Yes. And I bet she could be at home now, crying out her frustration. Oh, what a poor girl. I feel for her. Chai. So I had to get jilted on my marriage day just to have this kind of fun. Onyekane, you're behaving strange. How do you mean? How? No normal being in your shoes will react the way you're just doing now. In my shoes? Are you even listening to us? What would you have me do? Oh, I get it now. So I'm supposed to have hanged myself? No. No. So what do you want me to do? Tell me. I should live up my whole life in agony simply because a man refused that he wasn't going to marry me. Never. I would do no such thing. I loved Ebuche sincerely. No strange attached. 
So for him to have decided that he doesn't want to marry me is his own loss. Is his own loss and not mine. I am very fine. Love is a very sincere thing, very sincere and unconditional. So he has just thrown away his lifetime opportunity to be happy. I am very fine, please. I'm fine. You went to Abubankwa, right? Deny it! You're coming from Abubankwa! Unako, is that supposed to be a good thing? A wife should greet her husband who just returned home? Returned home from where? Returned home from where? You left this house since yesterday night and you're coming in now and you want me to greet you. Tell me, what is good about the greeting? Eh? Unako, Unako, you are a mad woman. And two ah. people do not want man at the same time. Deny it, Sutamdu! Deny it! That you're not coming from uh, uh, Let me tell you, one day all those disgusting girls will give you an incurable disease that even a wife in America will not be able to cure. Like my words, when that day happens, I will leave you. Like my words, you will not be able to cure. You are indeed a lucky man. Any more of those punches, you would have been a dead man. <sighs> Glory be to God. That's all I can say. The injection I've given him will help dissolve the blood that has congealed in some part of his body where he has internal wounds. I'll be back in the evening to give him another one. In two or three days' time, he should be back on his feet. Oh, my brother, thank you very much for coming in this short time. Is that right? It's my job as the only chemist in this village. Um, I'll take my leave now. If there is any more problems, don't hesitate to call me. Okay, I will. Let him have some rest. Thank you. Thank you. Go well. Yeah. Hmm? Man, I missed that punch. That punch could be me Hmm. If not for you and Ekunife, you would have been a dead man by now. Eva. Sorry, sorry. Pay plenty of money because this king is not cheap to maintain. Mm. I am not afraid to pay anything. Yeah, can you see him? The money you may go. Oh, more like that, more like that. Is it in that case? Eh. You just said to me that I will work out. But you can enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's no problem. Please. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
I don't know what to do. Tell me, Sarah. How am I supposed to become a wife to a date? I, I, I can't do it. I don't even see myself doing it. I'd rather kill myself. Don't say that. You won't kill yourself. Ah, and no one is marrying to any date either. Because they're going to go back to Chio Machiani and ask him to accompany you to go and appease the deity. Mm. After it was one that, that referred you to Mezanam the first place. <coughs> Why didn't I think about this? Oh, wow. Oh, Saram, you are a life saver. Thank you. Thank you. No, I, I mean, if you hadn't sent me to a geomagenic place in the first place, I wouldn't have found out the truth about my family. <laughs> <sighs> what are friends for? To be your brain when you're emotionally and physically drained. I know. But trust me, lots of people who parade themselves as friends, they don't even know this. <laughs> I will forever appreciate you. Thank you. Don't think of killing yourself again, please. <laughs> 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 She went to Omoran to visit a friend. What friend? Which compound? When she left this house yesterday, was she with this bag? I'm asking you. EJ, go inside. See, if you make one step further inside this house, somebody will die. Yes. What is your problem? Papi EJ, you are looking for trouble. Leave this girl alone. What is it? Eh? Let, so. let me have that bag. Don't give it to him. Don't try me, oh. Don't try me! Let me have the bag! Hey! How did you get all this? She brought that for me. I'm not asking you, Okwan, your honor. I said, how did you get all this? Papa, I put them for Mama. You bought them for Mama? Very good. Let's go inside. Who gave you the money to buy all this? I'm asking you! Who gave you the money to buy it? Ija, please let's go inside. Eh, hey, let's go inside. That's why you, what you always say. Let's go inside. You know the soup? Let's go inside, we'll come outside. Fine. Madiche, where are you coming from? Hey, Mama, I told you I was going to sleep over at uh, Monekani's house. That was not what you told me. You told me you were going to visit. <laughs> Mama, you did not understand what I told you because I can see you are beginning to grow wings. That's enough. Eh? What? Nine. Eh? The young woman is just coming home. Let her get, go, go inside and freshen up before interrogating her. Are you a police officer? I am a police officer. Then you should be in an in, in interrogating room and not in my house. Nine. Let me go. I said that is enough. I'm going to nine because. I am not eating this food again. Eat oh, your food. Better. The food that was even complaining that is not enough for me. My dear, go in and run.
come on, Wifi. Surprised to see me. <laughs> Honestly, I do not know why you're here. But sincerely, I have never expected a visit from you. By that, you mean you are not going to tell Obuefi who visited to sit? No, sit down. Thank you. Um, if it's my brother you're looking for, then he's not around. He just went out. Oh, come on. Not at all. I have actually come to see you. Me? Yes. Huh. Okay. I'm listening. No, I, I can't tell you why I'm here, why I am sitting and you are standing. So. <clears throat> you see, uh, when the news of your marital disaster came to me, I felt uh, obliged to come and show my heartfelt sympathy. Oh, thank you very much. I'm grateful. Oh, thank you. And also to offer you a way to help and better your life, change your life for good. I don't understand. A way to better my life? You see, you are one beautiful woman uh, in this village and even in the entire kingdom that every noble man, noble young man in this kingdom has at the tip of his tongue. Hmm. And why is that? Can you, when next you go to the stream, stand over the water and have a good look at your reflection, then you would know why. You see, word around town is that uh, your beauty is not just skin deep. Your beauty has something to do with other forces that we don't see. That mm -hmm. makes you extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Now that that rascal, that stupid boy who was supposed to get married to you uh, made a total fool of himself. Or the king, I know, he do. They want you to be his queen. Are you serious? Yeah. Imagine how much you will be making if you were to work for me. Eh? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? I mean, what did you just say? My dear, calm down. Imagine, just look at yourself as an employee of Obobankwa. Only the kings and great men will be your clients. Excuse me? Biao, 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 chapa. Kanne. You sound as if it is an insult. It's a very big insult. Very, very grievous one. And I won't take it. Listen to me. You know you are a very special woman. That was why you were able to take behind you, I mean, to put behind you what happened between, between you and that rascal. Can mm. Tomorrow is big. Tomorrow is very big. Obabankwa is that tomorrow. Listen, just come, make up your mind and come to me. Come and work for me. I will connect you to men who will tell you, who will, who will show you how to make a woman good and treat her well. With respect, with due respect, Wifi. <laughs> Calm down, okay? Don't just be in a hurry to give me your response now. I just want you to have your time and uh, ponder over the ponder on the offer I just made you. No, they listen, can me listen. I am not just going to make you a wealthy woman. But I will also make you a happy woman. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to ponder over. I am going to give you my response straight away. I am not interested in whatsoever you are about to give to me. I am not interested. Please, before you came here, I was about going to cook. Yes, cook, cook. You see, <laughs> I have even forgotten. You reminded me what I have already forgotten. And then, you are a wonderful cook. Oh. You are a wonderful cook. 
Your friends have already confirmed that. See, uh, if you come to me, I will even arrange that those men, they will pay to eat what you cook. Oh, boy, if you, oh boy, if you have overstayed your welcome, please. Get up and leave. Are you asking me out of here? If you do not leave here right away, I am going to rip off my clothes and shout rape. Well, Is something wrong with you? I forgive you because I can see you are still grieving. Please leave my house. In case you make up your mind. Oh, but leave. 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 Okay. Oh. Hey. He for some Useless man. <laughs> There's no need crying over spilled milk, okay? Let me tell you. You can just get yourself another cup, uh, probably prepare a fresh one for yourself. Look at you. As beautiful as you are. You are just practically wasting away in this village, in fact, and in this entire kingdom. I can bet you, you can't even remember when last you were made to feel like a real woman. When I mean feel like a woman. <laughs> I mean, look at it. The whole of your body. Your whole body being touched, caressed, romanced. Are you understanding me? Listen, I have men in my place who can do anything with your body. Are you understanding me? They can do what that your so-called husband could not do for you. In case there is no man that can handle you that way. Listen, I can handle you myself. Don't you dare come near me. Fool. Maggot. <laughs> I just want to help you. <laughs> You know where to find me if you have a change of mind, my love. You know where to find me. The <laughs> wealthy hero Rika is waiting for you. You know where to find me. I'm waiting. If you know, oh yeah, they make me knock in your locker. Oh now, make me knock over What is my business now? I will leave her. I will leave her. After I'm even, I was even trying to help her to see what I can do to, to better her life. And she's just messing up. Eh? She's, she, she was just messing up. Uh -huh. You sleepy maggot. I was just on my way to that your cost place. Yes. Hmm? On your way to my place? Yes. Did you need to come all the way from Mbezoha to do this? Yes. Because. I want you to call off whatever business you have with my daughter. You are so heartless. I want to ask you, if she were to be your daughter, will you make her an employee of a bank? Look at you. You think I don't know you? No. You think I don't know everything about you? You think I don't know your movements in the dark, in the day? I know everything about you now. Listen to me. Instead of all this, your crew carry whatever movement, Nicodemus movement. Why not come to Obobamwa, Ebane Diego? Are you understanding me? Your wife would not know. Your daughter too would not know. I have no idea what you are talking about. Let me tell you, I want you to take off your clothes off my daughter. Eh? Because if you don't, <laughs> you'll be hearing from me. <laughs> 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 Why not come? Your place is there. Men that stand up like you, they stand up by shouting, but they are there today enjoying themselves. <laughs> I will see you there. <laughs> My husband, 
You're back. Welcome. I did uh, not see you when I came back. When you came back? Uh, remind me, where did you go? I told you I'm spending the night at my mother's. Uh, Amaka, I am not senile. I have a good memory. What you told me yesterday was that you were going to the market. No, that's not what I said. Ichi, I have no family member left. No male, no female. Odumi really has succeeded in wiping every one of them. Please, if only you can come with me. I would really appreciate it. I would be so grateful to you, please. My daughter, I wish I could, but I can't. I can't. Because uh, me really will only listen to your family member. And I am not a member of your family. I'm sure there is a man out there asking for your hand in marriage. Why are you shaking your head? Don't you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you are saying, Ichi. But I am shaking my head because I do not have any fiance nor any man. You mean as beautiful as you are, you have no... Then, you will settle for the second option. Which is? Marry Nadum Iwele. I see. Oh yes, because that is the only option. Odum Iwele will never kill his wife. Is there no other option? That is the only option, my daughter. Hey, Kunife. What is it? Why are you blocking my way? <laughs> oh, is it because of the useless charm you have in your pocket? Now, Yokunife, let me tell you. Go back to that naughty doctor that prepared that useless thing I'm looking at in your pocket. Go and tell him that I, Obuifile Rika, I am mightier and bigger then that's useless etiada in your pocket okay now richard listen to me i was heading to your house to warn you but good thing i met you here stay away from my sister hey, Erika, stay away from my sister whatever useless business idea you have to share with her she's not interested hey, Erika. The next time you set foot in my compound, I swear by the gods, that will be the last time you use your feet. Stay away from my sister. I won't warn you again. You see, Ekulife, you are talking, and I was just busy looking at you. Maybe you don't know now, let me tell you. Your sister's value as a woman diminished the very moment she was rejected on her marriage day. I was only trying to offer her a way to better her life. What did you say? <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> now, let me repeat. I said that your sister's value as a woman Diminished the very moment. Are you understanding me? She was rejected. <gasps> hey! Wait, 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 w
I honestly do not know how to present this, but the truth is that I am so surprised with what you have been doing. I don't know exactly what I'm doing that is surprising you, my dear. Your errand boy was here yesterday with the well-prepared bush meat you asked him to bring. And it was so strange to me because it was prepared exactly the way I like it. And now you're here? I'm surprised. You don't need to be. That's just my only true way of saying, please forgive me for not being there for you when you needed me most. Your brother wanted you to be left alone. I know. You have been forgiven. Onyekene, how are you? I am fine. I am even fine more than I expected to be. I'm perfect. Onyekene. But I just said I'm fine. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Unless you want me to tell you that I'm not fine so that you can go out and get me more bushmeat. Somebody will die in my hands in this village. Everybody is just provoking me. Ah, ah. Ogini. What is wrong? Is my sister the only girl in this village? The one that allowed her to rest. Everybody wants my sister until I kill somebody before they rest. How? What nonsense. Gods of my forefathers. Ebonife! What did you just hang? Is that not the charm you said they use in fighting? Ebonife, you've been fighting! No. Who is Signorica? Huh? Who is Signorica to make advances at my sister? That man is very lucky I didn't kill him. He's very lucky! W wait, just, just calm down. You said the, 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 the bastard did what? Ha! I told you I handled this. I told you to let it go, but you wouldn't just listen. So you went with a charm to fight because of this? What is wrong with you? And I also told him. I also told him that the next time he steps his foot in this compound will be his last. Who is that man to speak to you in the first place? He deserves not to leave. Oh, please, enough! Enough of all this! What is wrong with you? Open if I'm standing right here in front of you. You should stop picking fights because of me. It is not advisable. Besides, I'm no longer a child. You should stop it already. See, that man needs to be killed. You're supposed to kill him. You know, now that you are saying it, all I feel is regret. Huh? I regret not killing him. Oh my goodness. Just kill him. Both of you obviously do not know what you're doing. You don't have to kill anyone because of me. Huh. You don't have to fight anyone because of me. I am loud in it for you to hear now. Let it get into your head. I have warned you. So just cut off his head. Go just kill him one, one hand, everybody will make rest. Just, just, just kill him. You. Let him be on. Huh? I, I don't understand. What kind of question is that? Great one, who marries me for real? I mean, who has the responsibility to always make love to me if I eventually get married to the deity? I am asking this important question because I know the gods cannot. Well, truth is, no one in particular be rest assured, or do we really will raise men who are obedient to make you happy? Great one. Don't you think that is so horrible? 
For a young woman like me, how am I supposed to cope with all that? I heard you were beaten, but I never knew it was as serious as this. One day you are lucky to have survived. You say, Gwenefe, I will deal with him. I will deal with him. I'm telling you, and I'm serious. You will deal with him, Gwenefe, for what? On what grounds? On what basis? In case you have forgotten, let me quickly remind you that you cheated his sister on your marriage day. I mean, put yourself in his position. You would have done the same. I would have done the same. I'm speaking about the, the girl. You see, I'm, I'm still wondering. I mean, she has not come to query me over what happened. I hope she's still alive. <laughs> Is that your wish for her? I'm just asking. You want her dead? Now, I have an information about her. She has gotten over you completely. In fact, she moved on immediately as if you never really existed. Are you serious? How possible is it? How it is possible is that she showed you in clear language that she belongs in a class far beyond your comprehension. In fact, I am a fan of her now. Yes. If not for anything, but at least for not allowing your stupidity to have her. Actually, whose side are you on? Whose side? In Bush. This is not a matter of taking sides. Far from it. You understand? What you did to that girl, I wouldn't wish it on my enemy. For the part that you refuse to turn up on her marriage day, even after visiting the preceding day, with an expensive bid, tells me that you purposely planned to frustrate her. And like I said, she refused to be frustrated and has moved on and I'm a fan. <laughs> Achebe, leave my house. Unbelievable! You have overstayed your welcome. Leave my house. Who does that? I do it and I'm still doing it and I'm doing it right now. So I say leave my house. You ask me, Achebe, out of your house? I said, Achebe, leave my house. Stand up and leave. Go. Go to the side you, you, you are supporting. Go, leave my house. Okay, I will leave. The truth, they said, is bitter. Go, 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 what is it now? Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Mama, see the money I made. EJ. Yes. You made this morning in one night. Mama, there was no crowd yesterday now. Otherwise, this is nothing. EJ, come, come, come. I hope you are being careful. Very careful now. Very, very careful, Mama. I trust you, my daughter. <laughs> you always know what to do. <laughs> Quickly, go and hide this morning before your father gets back. Yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the, I, I, I just want to be friends with you. Okay? I, I just want to be um, friends with you and I know how to take good care of a woman okay fine um, how much did you get the beads so I can quickly go in and get the money for well, you like I said earlier I didn't spend anything in getting the beads it's a gift like I told you earlier my friend deals on jewelry so it wasn't difficult for me to get it what are you saying these are very expensive beads 